Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a short video today, running you through a fault on this 2014 Ford Focus, and it's the one liter EcoBoost engine. Now this fault's quite common in the EcoBoost engine in some of the other Ford models. And I'm just running you through the issue that we've got. The engine lights on, just this little one here. And when we plug it in, we've had a few different fault codes in it. We're using a snap-on scanner, and we've had P0087. You can clear the code, it'll stay out for a bit. But we have had a bit of a mix of codes coming back from it. We've had P0087, we've got this P0C6, fuel rail pressure too low, engine cranking. And we have had another code, um, which is saying that the low pressure system is the fuel pressure's too high as well. So. Um, but we can clear the code it does stay out for a few mile or a few minutes if you sort of revving it up at idle and then it'll come back on so but the main issue that we're having it sort of hesitates a little bit and stalls and when you run it when you're sort of driving down the road sometimes the power just cuts out and it just bogs down so i'll just um we'll just run you through what the fault was and now we fixed it Just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. We've got quite a, quite a few other fixes on some Fords as well. Right, it's just coming under the bonnet now. I'm just going to take the top cover off. It just simply pulls off. You've just got to take the oil cap off to get it off. It sort of stops it coming all the way out. I'm just going to take this um, hose from the airbox out. Really easy to get off. Just want a couple of... You can either use a flat bladed screwdriver or an 8mm socket, a 7mm socket I think it is, just to get them off. We'll get that out of the way and then we can show you what we need to replace to fix the fault. Well, so now that that's out of the way we can now see everything under the cover a bit better. I'll just show you the sensor that we're going to be replacing to fix the fault. It's the low pressure fuel sensor. You can only get these from Ford at the minute. Um, but if you check out the links in the description below, I'll put links to where you can get that sensor from. Uh, but just running you through it, uh, basically got the high pressure fuel pump here. These are quite a common issue. They come with the regulators built into them. I think you can get some aftermarket ones now. I'll put some links in the description below to the one of them as well. Um, but when these fail, they normally don't run at all. And if you take them out and compare that to your old one, you'll find that the spring is normally just sat in a little bit further. So, um, But basically that's how the pump comes. They're really easy to change. You've just got like a push crimp fitting on the supply in pipe there underneath this cover. Obviously just the connect, three pin connector on there and just two bolts to hold it in. Um, but coming down from there on the high pressure side, you've got the fuel rail, you've got the high pressure sensor screwed into the rail just there. Got another three pin connector on that one. Uh, but that sensor that we're replacing is on the low pressure side. And if you just follow the pipe down, it just comes around the back of there. Screwed into the pipe itself. We've just got this sensor there. Again, there's just a little connector, three free wire connector on that. So just need to pinch the top of the connector there to pull that off. Just do that quick. connector off you can just see that a bit better now so all i'll do now is just get the spanner just unscrew that one just put the new one in this one's quite a light nip don't need to be mega tight do what damage the threads um i'll just nip that in just clear the fault codes and then just show you that that's fixed the fault just do that quick now i'm just going to want 24 mil spanner to get that out see new sensors all fitted into place now you just simply need to just crack them off with a spanner and you can just wind them out by hand so look at the old sensor there and um, we'll just clear the code out now just give it a good run just let you know it's definitely fixed the fault well, just one thing that i forgot to put in the video so i've just edited it quick and just added this little section in um if you're getting issues on the low pressure side you really need to know that there's a pump in the tank you really need to know that that's working and if you get this guard section off here where the supply pipe comes into the pump uh, it's just got like a little like a push 
push clip sort of connection on it you can pull that off and if you just get it's probably better to do it with a couple of you if you take that pipe off you want to get one person in the car just turn the ignition on with the ignition on it should pump petrol out of that pipe from the low pressure side and if you just get someone else in the car so they can turn it off quick obviously you don't want to spray petrol everywhere um, but that'll just prove whether the pump in the tank's working or not so just a little quick test it's always worth just trying first just to make sure obviously if nothing's coming out you need to be looking on the actual fuel tank side of it at the pump in the tank so i'll just cut it back into the rest of the video now I've just got back from road test. I'd cleared the fault code before leaving. I've um, done about 10 miles. The fault hadn't returned. Driven really nicely all the way round. So, no, it's definitely fixed the fault there. I just thought I'd share the video in case anyone's stuck with the same problem. It can be a bit misleading. Uh, if you don't know, it's got the low pressure. Not all cars have a low pressure fuel sensor in them as well. Uh, one other thing I forgot to say, really, just earlier on. It's just a quick basic check to do, just to make sure that it is actually pumping on the low pressure side. You can just disconnect the um, the pipe from the pump, just turn the ignition on, probably do it with two of you quick so you can get ready to turn it off. But just simply turn it on and just make sure that fuel does come through so you know that your low pressure pump in the tank's working, that's all. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you next time.